Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing the performance testing of the newly launched OnePlus 13S. So OnePlus 13S is the latest uh, device uh, in the flagship series uh, from OnePlus and this device comes with uh, the Snapdragon 8 Elite and it has really great hardware, 12 GB RAM, LPDD of 5X RAM, UFS 4.1 storage. So it's a really power pack device in terms of hardware and you get uh, uh, the Oxygen OS 15. Let's just take the about device of the phone. So about device OnePlus 13s, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite and 12 gigabyte RAM is the one, and we get 5,850 milliampere battery with 80 watt superbook. So that's the hardware part. Now let's uh, see the performance testing of this device. So how bad the throttling is, or how good the uh, performance testing is, uh, how stable the device is in terms of stress test. We'll test the antenna score, the storage test, and also we'll see the Geekbench score for this device. So let's get started. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's start with the CPU throttling test. So this is the uh, test here. So options, you can see here 20 thread and 15 minute test. Uh, you can see here we'll also display the CPU temperature. So there you go. So let's start the test. Now you can see a hundred percentage battery and let's also check the uh, device temperature right now. So 28 degrees is the temperature right now. So there you go. So now we have completed the CPU throttling test and you can see here 97 percentage battery right now so 3 percentage battery drop and you can see CPU throttling to 65 percentage of its max performance. So that's the throttling test so 65 percentage is generally what you get on flagship devices the Snapdragon 8 Elite. So uh, that's the value you can see here max value 270 and average value is 238. So that's a CPU throttling test. Next, uh, let's uh, go with uh, the stress test. It's a 20 loop test. So let's see how uh, the stability is on that device uh, with the stress test. So the next uh, test is the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme uh, stress test. It's again a 20 loop test. So here you can see here 3D Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme stress test. It, the device goes to uh, goes through multiple uh, uh, loops, and at the end of uh, the cycle, we'll see how the stable how stable the device. So let's start now. You can see here 96 percentage uh, battery uh, having uh, in the device. Now uh, the temperature is 32 degrees, 32.3. Let's uh, start the test. So let's come back uh, once the test is complete and let's see how much of uh, stable the device uh, is. Now we have completed the wildlife extreme uh, stress test and you can see here stability score is 76.4 percentage and uh, the best loop score is 6100 while the lowest loop score is 4702 and you can see here how it progressed towards the end you can see here the loop score values reducing and you can see the performance range uh, of this device and you can see a battery came down from 96 percentage to 83 percentage that's almost 13 percentage drop and the temperature went from 33 degrees to 46 degrees and you can also see the fps values 20 to 45 fps so 46 degrees is in bad actually for an extreme stress test for a compact form factor which is quite okay i would say and uh, you can see here 76.4 is a wildlife extreme uh, stress test value. Now next let's go to the antidote benchmark score. So this is the antidote value. Uh, 24 lakh uh, 33,088 is the score. And you can see here the individual score, the CPU score, the GPU score, the memory score and the UX score. And while testing, you can see here 7.7 .7 degrees increase while testing. Uh, from 32, it reached to uh, 40 degrees and 7 percentage battery drop while testing the antidote score. So that's the uh, 
Added to value and let's also see the storage test you can see here UFS 4.1 and uh, 166,936 is the score which is quite good I would say uh, it's 4.1 UFS 4.1 so obviously it will be about 150,000 in value so that's the uh, storage test now next let's uh, see the Geekbench test that's the final test we are going to do uh, the Geekbench uh, test uh, and here is the result uh, 2864 is the single core score while the multi core score is 8645 which is pretty good uh, for this device so that's the performance testing of this device so overall you would say it's a pretty good device for, for performance uh, be it gaming or heavy testing it does uh, have pretty good capabilities so what do you guys think about the performance of the oneplus 13s do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in the next video have a great day